please subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon so you don't miss out those videos thank you how's it going guys welcome to another video for the sim gaming in today's video i will be showing you how to add beacon lights on tractors or machines you like and before we start our tutorial i would like to thank all of the subscribers i have on my channel i would like to thank all of you who subscribe to my channel and now i have more than 1000 subscribers on my channel that is far more happiest thing ever happened to me so thank you all so very much and if you are new on the channel i would like to ask you go check out my videos tutorials you will find some useful tutorials as well and please do subscribe to my channel so without any further ado let's start today's video first of all we have to close our game and go to our mods folder copy the mod you would like to change or add beacon lights to it i have this international 624 you have to extract the mod for this particular modding tutorial you need uh, you need giants editor and notepad plus plus you can do this without notepad plus plus but you must have giants editor i will post the link of these both softwares in the description so you can get those easily so after extraction we will open the main folder open up the i3d of the tractor you would like to change and find a place where you can see better then click on create new transform group I always brought simple tutorials and this one is as well so please follow it it will work for sure I guarantee you and if you did not please comment down below I will try to respond to you as soon as possible after creating a transform group click on file import and then go to your main game file open data share assets beacon lights and lizard now if you are new to the channel i have some other tutorials like how to add lights and stuff so please check them out too and in this tutorial i will be showing you how to add beacon lights as you can see we have light 2 here now the other thing you have to do is keep it selected and go here press ctrl c or copy it select transform and then paste we will rename the transform to beacon light 2 and then press ctrl x we will cut that select this and press ctrl v we have and then press ctrl x again Go to the main module of the mod, press Ctrl V. Now we have added that beacon light into the main directory of that mod. So now you can place this beacon lights wherever you like. It will work for sure. You can add it on the main body of the tractor or on the roof wherever you like. I would like to add it on the roof where it should be you can add it wherever you like no problem at all so now if you want to add one or more lights you have to just follow my method if you want to add one more select this press ctrl D by doing this we will duplicate the one and then select the other one we have duplicated drag it wherever you like to add it on the tractor then open these both main files and delete the beacon light 2 here and this one too now we have made them transparent they will come up in the game 
the main part of the tutorial is here now the other part is on notepad plus plus now we will open up the main XML of that mod make sure you have saved it minimize that open up the main XML of that mod minimize you will get this in the description of this video just open it copy the main line select all or you can select this one only find beacons now here's another thing if we do not have that beacons file in a tractor by default you can create one but make sure you will create it under brake lights or lights after the ending of the light section do not add it anywhere else if you do not have that beacon lights just add it under the lights or brake lights the last part of the lights now we have copied this one press enter and then paste it we want to add two lights we will paste it once more press enter paste it now make sure you add the node make sure you add the node address here I wrote any node because you have to change it open the giants editor select the first one and copy its index path or node open notepad plus plus and paste now you have to do it with the other one as well select it copy its node path or index path and then paste here now after that we have one more step left here go at the end of the mod copy any line from the i3d mapping press enter and paste it once again because we are adding two lights we will paste it one more time that depends on you how many lights you like to add the more lights you add the more lines you add the more lights you add the more lines you add I hope that makes sense okay now here we will add the main line name here we will add the name copy it and then paste it make sure it is not changed if there is an extra space your mod will not work you just have to be precise in this one now we will select the nodes and then the other one copy it and then paste it so so that's all we have to do your lights have been installed we just have to check it in the game if that works or not and if you did not subscribe to my channel by far now please do subscribe I have plenty of useful stuff coming on my channel now reset your camera position save it close giants editor and then close this one as well select all files Add to archive, zip, select the main file, open your mods folder, delete the one we have before here, this one, yes I want to permanently delete this one and we will paste the newer one, we have pasted it, now we just have to get into the game and check if it works or not and how it looks I would like to remind you once again please subscribe it's worth it 
I'll make sure it's worth it. Our mod is here, working fine, so we will start the game. So we're back in the game and we just have to check our mod if it's here or working or not. Press P, go to the shop, small tractors. Here we have our lizard tractor and we have those lights on the roof. If you remember we have hidden them or made them transparent but they will come into the game as well. We just have to buy that tractor. get into the tractor. Now we are in the tractor and check if our beacon lights works or not. Okay, that's pretty much it. Your tractor is up and running, your beacon lights are working, we are good to go. Isn't that easy enough? If I can do it, you can do it yourself. Just believe in yourself. Please subscribe, like, share and comment down if you have any problem and do let me know if you want any other video i will try to make that one thanks for watching see you in the next video take care and happy farming